some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves back in the courtroom of Judge Perkins as he faces down yet another Sovtard. And, well, it doesn't exactly end well for this one either as he ends up with 30 days in jail for a contempt of court. So, let's go ahead and get this S-show on the frickin' road, shall we? Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. What is your middle name, Mr. Garner? Errol. Earl? No. He's on the 130 docket, Your Honor, I, I believe. James Garner. Earl Garner. James E R R O L Garner, right? Yes. You are on the 130 docket. If you want to write, I can give House Counsel an offer right now. She can report it to him. On James Garner, do you see all the cases he has? Uh, I see just the uh, four that are on the docket. Or five. Yeah. He's got more? He's got plenty more. Okay. You want me to come down, review, and do a global offer? If you could, please. Okay. I would like to know what the charges are. Okay. This is the city of Detroit. Versus James Earl Garner, case number SP1100435, counts one, two, and three. SP1169, that's those are um, driving a license expired. Uh, misdemeanor, no insurance, uh, insurance misdemeanor. Thank you. And an improper plate misdemeanor, all of them punishable by maximum possible penalty of. Uh, 90 of no insurance misdemeanor, both punishable by 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. SP 11695121, same improper plates, same punishment, $500 in 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines, maximum possible penalty. SP 12230791, driver one license suspended. SP one two seven three seven six eight one SP one nine two seven five one two. Um, three of those tickets are uh, drive all all punishable by ninety three days in jail and or five hundred dollars in fines. SP one five four seven zero zero six counts one, counts two, and counts three. Those are civil infractions. SP 154407 counts one and counts two. Count one being a driver more license suspended repeat offender. Yeah, Judge, that's putting it mildly. This guy seems to think that. Uh, well, the laws don't apply to him in this particular case if he's breaking this many of them. But I just can't wait to hear from him because, you know, this should be entertaining. This one is in warrant status, probably an old case that he didn't pay. SB 800104 counts one and counts two, one being an unregistered untitled. He owes $1,194 on that. And um, and uh, SP and count two of that is a drug while license and proper. It looks like he has a hundred and fourteen dollar fine on that. Um, State of Michigan versus James Earl Garner, case number SX three six two six eight five six one. That is a drug while license expired. Um, and that will be a five hundred dollars maximum possible penalty. 93 days in jail and $4,500 in fines. Appearance for the... Uh, first off, uh, I do have a couple... You got to state your name first. You got to state your name first. No, Let's I think, start I think, I think, wait a minute, Ms. Harris. Wait a minute, Ms. Harris. I think okay. Mr. Garner is going to represent himself. Am I correct, Mr. Garner? I would wager with 99% accuracy that this idiot is going to uh, represent himself in this particular matter because... Well, he thinks that he knows the law when he actually doesn't know jack squat about it. Am I right? Alleging these charges. That's what I'm curious about. 
State of Michigan, City of Detroit. Okay, well, if that's the case, there's Go a ahead. common law principle which states that for there yeah. to be a crime, there must be a victim. Corpus delecti. The state cannot be the injured party. How do you want to proceed, Mr. Garner? People set the matter. I'll enter a not guilty plea on his behalf. Give him a zero dollar bond. Either set the matter for trial or um or I'll wait, I'll wait for the city to give you an offer. What do you want to do? Well, the court hasn't even established jurisdiction. I mean, in order for jurisdiction, the jurisdiction has to be established first, and there's no jurisdiction established. And once Are jurisdiction you... Challenge. Once jurisdiction is challenged, that must be settled before charges can be brought. Oh uh, yeah, that's a nice soft heart speech right there. Pity it doesn't go anywhere because, well, the jurisdiction issue is quite simple. You live in the state of Michigan. You uh, committed the infractions in the state of Michigan. Therefore, you are within their borders. Therefore, you are within their jurisdiction. It's as simple as that, Softard. All right. Do you want to do you want to put that in a motion, sir? As as far as I'm concerned, any and all charges must be dismissed because there is no complaint. Motion. I'm going to deny the motion. Okay. So all we're going to do now, we're not going to keep, we'll keep going back and forth. Either you take an offer or you set the matter for trial. Which one Re do you want? Respectfully, in order for this to continue, there must be a complaining witness. And the state cannot be a complaining witness. Now, if I'm entitled, if I'm entitled to a fair trial, the law states there must be a victim. I'm, I'm, asked, I'm just requesting, who is the victim? Who did I the injure? Citizens the citizens of the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan are the victims. The state and cannot be a victim. And if that's I said the case, the citizens, I said the citizens of the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan are the victims. Mr. Garner, like Mr. Garner, Garner, Mr. Garner, uh, can can we just go into a breakout room and and then maybe I can give you a little bit of advice to assist you with moving forward? Would you be agreeable to that? Sure. Okay. Awesome. Join the breakout room. We'll pass the matter. Many, many minutes later. I believe he's ready, Your Honor. He's uh, representing himself. Let's go back on the record with Garner. What do you want to do, Mr. Garner? Do you want a, you want a trial date or do you want an offer? Those are, those are really your only two options. Okay, since we are on the record, all I'm asking for is the corp. Okay, is one the last time. One last time. Now, now listen. Here's how it's going to go from this point on. If you don't answer the question that I asked specifically, then I'm going to hold you in contempt of court, and we're going to move from that point on. Right? Get up, Mr. Raymond. Hello. Stop, sir. Stop, sir. Now, that's the last time I'm going to ask you to speak on the law. Is that what I'm hearing? All right. I'm asking. I'm, I'm going to hold Mr. Garner in contempt of court. He is, he is directly violating the court's order. I've asked him repeatedly to not uh, 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 interfere or, 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 or add any extra commentary to this case. I've given him ample time to answer the court's question. And he continues to refuse to do so. So now I'm going to hold you in contempt and I'm going to sentence you to 30 days Wayne County Jail. I'm not answering any more of your questions. Turn yourself in to the Wayne County Jail today. So the court is going to be in direct violation of my rights and the law. Is that where, is that where we're standing? That's how you feel. Have a good day, sir. And there you have it. Uh, no fuss, no muss. The judge really ended up, uh, well, sticking it to this soft heart. And, uh, well, that's how it should be from uh, 
from any judge because, you know, these arguments that these soft tarts put out just don't really hold any water. And uh, all they do is try to bog down the system anyway. And in this particular case, it blew up in his face. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm just like sexual Blah, 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 blah. blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need to get dead no, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island the speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the supposed speed limit. No, no, I didn't it, you Yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. 35. No, ma'am. It's... it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Yeah, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you are not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.